and going back to school might sound appealing, but maybe you're thinking, oh, sure, how am I going to pay for that? Well, joining me now is Lee Gorsuch, the president of City University of Seattle, with details on a couple of new programs that you might be able to take advantage of. Lee, thanks for being here. My pleasure. First, for anyone who doesn't know, City University is a private university that serves many working adults, right? Yes. Okay, and you're launching two scholarship programs now. Let's start with the program for displaced workers. What's happening with that? Well, uh, many of the displaced workers previously, their employers paid a lot of their tuition. So uh, for them, uh, suddenly being unemployed means that tuition becomes a significant burden. We took an analysis of uh, the student, our current tuition, and decided that in order for students to be able to use uh, student loans as a basis of financing their education, was that for us, we wanted to offer them a scholarship. So we're offering essentially uh, displaced workers at the undergraduate level, a $10,500 scholarship for 200 uh, displaced workers to come to City U and complete a degree. And at the graduate level, we're also offering a little bit lesser of a scholarship uh, for those who want to pursue a graduate degree. So that's about 30%. That's pretty good. It's a very significant uh, discount. For us, the big issue is how do you turn uh, adversity into advantage? And the same thing is true for, stand for students. So for us, this adversity was, if you have uh, some inefficiencies in your system, if you have small classes and so forth, is there a way in which you can turn that into an advantage? And for us, by offering these students a scholarship, we hope that we'll be able to actually achieve some economies of scale that hasn't been possible under the current circumstances. Now, there have been cuts to higher education during this financial crisis. That usually means that students from community colleges that were hoping and expecting to go to four-year universities to transfer to them haven't been able to as much, right? Well, we're going to see some really serious constraints put on all the public institutions. They're going to do everything possible to make students their number one priority. But when you have significantly less money to serve, students, in fact, will find it difficult to get into their institutions. So for us, the big issue was how do we provide a safety net for community college and technical college student graduates who want to earn a baccalaureate degree? So you're offering a scholarship for those students as well? Yeah, this will be a $7 million scholarship available to about 600 uh, students who are graduates this year of a community or technical college. And we've decided that the best way to administer this is to award uh, 20 of these scholarships to each president of a community or technical college and have them decide which students are the ones that uh, would be the beneficiary of that scholarship. How long do you envision these scholarships lasting? Is this uh, for as long as the financial crisis lasts? Well, we hope we can ride it out, but we'll have to take a hard look at it this fall to see how the finances look. Right now, it seems to be a very promising way for us to contribute and create this safety net for students, but we'll have to take a hard look at the finances and see how it works. But our intentions are to help students ride out this financial crisis. Well, thank you very much for doing that, Lee Gorsuch from City University. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. And you can find out more by going to the City University website at www.cityu.edu, or you can call them at 1-888-422-4898.